So anyway, Keith decided, uh, you know, Keith was actually t- had talked about doing the band that ended up being Boone Creek, mm-hmm. uh, but then he backed out last minute, and uh, and so did uh, Mark Pruitt backed out last minute, and because uh, he wanted to he wanted to do a music store with Matt, his brother, and so Balkum, I I'd already had Balkum, and Jerry Douglas was going to leave the gentleman and come and be in the band, and so we just uh, you know so Terry was hired to play fiddle. He'd been playing with Charlie Moore. And uh, and so uh, Terry was going to play fiddle, but then he he said, "Well, hey, I I kind of grew up playing banjo," and so he ended up being the banjo player and hired. Then hired, we hired Wes Golden, and and that's how Boone Creek then was was uh, was developed. But um, you know, we did two records for for Boone Creek or with Boone Creek, and then uh, but we only did that one record studio record with JD. But there there was a. There was a live recording from Japan that you know that ended up being you know coming out too, but mm-hmm. um, but that those were incredible musical days. Those days with JD, and then finally getting what I would consider a band where I you know was a partner, you know kind of thing. It wasn't with Keith, but it was you know it was still you know a, a partnership with Jerry and and Wes and and Terry Balcom, and um, and various bass players. Uh, and Vince came in a band there for a while too, you know, and worked, worked with us. But, um, those were years that, uh, I grew exponentially musically. I grew in my singing because when I came with God, when I came with, with JD, it's like, I'd never, I'd never fronted a show in my life. Mm-hmm. And Tony didn't want to do it, and JD yeah. sure wasn't going to, going to front a show, and you know, Mister No Talk, and uh, so I was kind of left to, uh, you know, to kind of front the show and, and introduce the songs, introduce the band, and just and try to try not to be stupid. Although that was <laughs> that I didn't I didn't do real good at that. It just was so <laughs> stupid. We we would. Tell jokes at each, to each other, and the audience out there didn't know what we were talking about. But I've <laughs> I've learned a little better since then. But uh, that was my uh, that was my first experience in that. And of course, with with Boone Creek, then um, you know I kind of fronted the show in that as well. But um, those were great years, and and great years to especially in Boone Creek. That that was a different thing because we 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 didn't want to sound old school bluegrass. We wanted to. We wanted to be inventive. We wanted to be creative. We wanted to do something that was unique to us, mm-hmm. so, not something that had never been done. <laughs> it wasn't that kind of thing, but yeah. but it was something that we really wanted to, you know, Jerry's Jerry's style. I mean, he was uh, he was taking Mike Aldridge and 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 Josh, and just really doing some some crazy new kind of things with it. You know, playing mm-hmm. the capo and stuff like that. That has never been, you know, and then. You know, and Wes was writing songs, and you know, and I was, you know, I was just trying to find things that were, you know, that that was not necessarily bluegrass, but but maybe even country things that we could take and and kind of make into a a thing that where we could, you know, we could do, uh, you know, d- do bluegrass instrumentation with it, you know, and um, so that was that was informative years, you know, creative years for me. 